here are the problems that I'm going to be doing today. Now, the first thing to point out is that small o is different to big O. If you're interested in big O, have a look at my YouTube video, Big O Notation Made Easy. And it might actually be useful to have a look at that anyway, even if you're only interested in small o. It'll sort of get you in the groove for this. So to our first problem, and we want to prove what we've got there. And let's think of this, the left-hand side, the 2n to the 9th plus 1 is fn, and the n to the 10th is gn. Then we can go to the definition, and we say that fn equals small o of gn if the limit as n goes to infinity of fn divided by gn equals 0. So this is informally just saying that in, as n gets larger, we need that fn, the value of fn, becomes an insignificant proportion of gn. So this gives us now the way to prove it. We just create the limit as n goes to infinity. Take the 2n to the 9th plus 1 and put in the numerator. The n to the 10th is the denominator. Now this is not a, uh, a video about doing limits, so I'm just going to cut to the chase and say let's divide top and bottom by n to the 10th. And you can see what we have here, and it's pretty clear that that limit goes to 0. So having shown that the limit equals 0, we can now conclude by saying so 2 to the n to the 9th plus 1 equals small o of n to the 10th. And that gets the big green tick. Now on to the second question. And we do use the same idea. So I've created a limit. As n goes to the infinity of the first function, the left-hand function, um, divided by the, uh, the right-hand function. And we can see here this n to the 20th. And, and using one of the log rules, we can take that 20 outside to the front. And once we do that, uh, once again, let's just divide top and bottom by the highest power, which is n squared. And I suppose here you do need to recognize that n times log n divided by n squared will go to zero. And once, if you know that, um, well then it's pretty obvious that the limit goes to zero, as I've shown here. If you don't know that n log n divided by n squared uh, approaches zero, then you probably need to have a look at a video on limits and get that under control. But anyway, we've shown that the limit equals zero, and so now we can conclude that 12n log n to the 20th base 2 plus 1570n equals small o of n squared. And that should give you full marks. And that's it for small o notation made easy. I hope you found it useful.